Previously, uh, for example, let's open up this another file, which is a regular file, which I can see. Um, let me show it here in Power BI Service. Yeah, this is the report where I can see I have this two page report where I have this, even though, sorry about the <laughs> alignment of the visuals, it is not a proper, but I still just want to show you that here. This is actually coming from a table. Let me also edit this one. All right, this is coming from a user table and this is coming from region access and this is coming from the region sales and this is also coming from the region sales and active. Basically, the requirement is like we have a builder report and we also apply the role of the security for those users and if they want to log in, they can they have to see only their related data. And this is also applicable for the bank customers as well, like they are sending every month the bank statement for every customer via an email. Similarly, if they want to send any kind of analytics for every customer, then they had to use previously uh, option about Power Automate to do that. And for this, you need to have Power BI premium capacity, fabric trial or fabric premium, fabric capacity as well. And I believe it has to be fabric F64 onwards because F64 is equal to P1 in Power BI premium. So you need to have that minimum license. And even for this thing, which I'm going to show you here, it's also required a Power BI premium capacity. That's really sad to say, but that's how Microsoft works. So we need to, maybe they will change their mind in future, but for now, you need to have at least Power BI premium capacity or fabric capacity. So what will happen for this is, if you subscribe to this report, um, previously, we need to use Power Automate for that and then send an email automatically based on the data and send it to other users on a scheduled basis. But the same feature they have brought up here in Power BI itself, we don't need any Power Automate license for that. Uh, we can directly build your report and start a subscription option. So before to that, I'd like to go give you the demo of the model here, which is this file. This user is actually have only the name of the user unique email IDs for that user. And this region sale is basically the region and the sales of the amount, even this is a small data. And here I have their rollover security part, which is a user and the region. Now the user, which is uh, at gmail.com, my name is basically I have access to three region, north, south and west. My hotmail is only have access to east option. That's one thing. After that, I have built these reports here and go to modeling tab and click on manage roles. I need to click create the roles here. So basically we need to use uh, the region access table where we have used the lower options, which is basically because sometimes if it is referring to user principal name, there may be some case sensitive issues. So it is good. I usually prefer to use the lower option because it will convert everything into lower case. And both the side, the column side as well as the login side as well. So this is the name of the column on this table and this particularly is basically the tax function is the principal name. Uh, if you use this here in Power BI Desktop, this is going to return you basically your local Windows PC name. But if you run in Power BI service, it will give you your logged in user email ID. Uh, generally, that's the thing. So if you refer to the model of this one, uh, the user actually filters to region access and this region access and sales is actually connected between this region and region and this is through user and user. So uh, user filters to the region access and user access filters to the region set. That's how it actually works. That's how I build a report here and I publish into Power BI service as simple as that. So now the output I will show you here. This is my Gmail ID where I can see it is filtered and given me a report here and I can see it here on the screenshot of the first second page, um, which is I have three regions and one uh, showing up here and this visual and you can also have the attachment here which is in PDF and this is actually the first page and also the second page here. Similarly, if I go to my another email ID, this is my hotmail where I can see it here. I have only to East access East region and I also have a PDF of two different files. That's how cool it is. So how can we do this is basically so right now if I go back to the reading view of this report. So you need to be a Power BI, I mean, that's the same capacity issue and you need to be Power BI 
a pro license you need to have in order to develop the report and publish and share in public service. So after that, we have the subscribe to report that's a new options. I mean, it was a previous itself, but inside to that, we have a new options. So if I click on the new subscriptions, we have two options, which is a standard and dynamic per recipient. This is the new thing. You can see it is still in premium. Right, so standard is nothing but the same thing. We, are, we don't have any customization options. We had to send everything without rollable security to the users. That's how it is. Um, and if the user use the subscribe options, then obviously it will filter based on the rollable security. But being a banking customer, for example, user are not going to log into Power BI service. Even they are not going to provide that access. So it is a um, it is a duty of the Power BI developer in order to use this customization options. So that's why this is the dynamic report subscription option. To click, the, click on this option, it will open up this window. So let me um, select, yeah. So first here, in this window, we need to connect to the recipient data here. So there are two things to keep in mind here. One is you need to pass the email IDs and then you need to use that thing into your model here. Either you can use two different data set, which is semantic model for these options, or you can use the same thing. Here I use the same thing because I prefer to do that way itself. Um, because I know this is the model. If the thing is available inside to this model, the email ID is available for that, then it's going to send us the uh, email for that. So the user table which contains only unique email ID. So you need also to make sure you are selecting the unique email ID tables here. Because the email ID gets repeated here, then you will also get repeated emails for that. So here, um, this is a basically the data set which I need to select. So selecting this data set and then click on next. And the next what we have here, select and filter the data here. So here I need to select the data, which is I'm going to select this user uh, and drag and drop here. I can also check here option. So this will actually give me the list of users available inside to that particular data set. I mean, sorry, semantic model. <laughs> I need to make use of that in order to pronounce it correctly. So here I have the option to add any filters options. Uh, they have given an option. So if we want to filter any region particularly, or if you want to filter it even additionally more, like even though for Hotwell, I want to filter it only for the company A, not for the company B. As a kind of static filter you want to do, then you can also do that here. You can just drag and drop and select this option. You can also make use of those filtration option here. Like Adnan has access to three regions. If you want to disable one of those things, you can also make use of that option mm -hmm. here. But for now, I don't want to do anything here. All right, so this is loading everything. And here we have an option here, choose the data. I would like to map to subscription dynamic field, the following fields can be. So you can have a data model where it contains the email ID, subject of the email, report filters, and attachment file type. So right now oh, we have these many options, but for now I'm just using only email ID here. And if I click on next, then here is the main part, which is a subscription name. We can give it here, which is a Power Platform Bootcamp, February 24. I can take it here. And here is recipient. So recipient we can use manually, which is the previous model how what we have. But now we have an option here, get data, get from data. So if I click here, then this is actually taken it from the previous step, which we have selected our data, user and user. This is the table name and column name. I'm setting this here. So it will go on a loop for that particular data, uh, what I have. So the loop option, what I have, so far this is preview. We have a limitations of only 50 users can go at the moment. Uh, if it is more than that, then it will not run. So you need to make sure, but this will, the limitation will go away in, in the general availability, but for now that's a limitation. So like it was said in previous uh, step, we have multiple options to do that. Uh, get data from this right now i don't have any subject which can take it from the data so i can type it here itself which is 24.02.24 for example and i can also type a message here from demo and what you want to show on the report page and the email itself so you want to show the report one or report two or you want to also get it from the data itself you want to show dynamically based on the user you can also refer to that so now i want to show only the page two because that is beautifully aligned for now and you want to link the report, link to the report in the email, or you just want to send the information. And also you have a report preview, you want to do that or not. So attachment, full report, yeah, full PDF report, or you want to just attach the page one or page two. Uh, I think that should be possible here, but still I need to check on that. 
But for now, it is showing up here full report means it is going to send you the full report itself. Yeah, there was asked in the previous session like, is there a possibility that we can customize based on that for user one, page one, for user two, page two kind of thing? I think that is not yet available. It will come in future. Here, I'm going to select here PDF here and then click on next. And here, we need to map our data here. If you click on add filter, right now we have our set up this model selections and then we need to map this to our data. So right now, this is coming from our report field, uh, which is a user and user. Here, I need to select the user and a user. So this email ID, which is the looping option, it will actually go and filter our data on this particular table. And then click on next. And we need to schedule when you want to schedule here, start and end date, how you want to repeat daily or weekly. This is the same thing which we had it previously. And what is the time you want to specify and your time zone? And you need to make sure this is active, then only it will work. So once you click on that, then you need to review everything one by one. If you want to edit something, then you can also do that. So finally, save and close in order to create that. So similar thing which I did here for my previous thing, which I'd like to show you here. If I click on edit this one, where you can see it here, data source is this one, this is the column, and these are all the best. Everything is same, what I have suggest you on this thing. So once you do so, then it, if you can click here and click on send now, then it will send you the report like this. This is how you can able to use dynamic subscriptions and this is actually, I am doing it as an admin, but it is email sending it to different, different users, even though they don't, don't need to any apply subscription options in Power BI server. That's the cool part.